Hello, this is Greth, and welcome to game two of Culture of Versus Iruin. Now, the first game wasn't really that spectacular, I must admit. Um, we had Iru at the start building his uh, advantage. He went three, um, yeah, three hatch, three base even. Uh, Hydras, but he didn't really do anything with it. Gudra, the little trick, um, told, well, Iru scouted the uh, starboard, Gudra cancelled it, and uh, went for a early Dune Temple and Templars, but both of them really didn't um, act on their advantages, so they just stayed there. Just yeah, stalemates, and in the end, go to one because I, I, I didn't go past early mid game. Let's call it that. He just kept pumping hydras, and it's not really, uh, how do you put it, a good way. If go go to I, I need to put some background into this. Uh, so Iru is the one on one instructor for Zerg, uh, and go was a student for Protoss in the first season, so. Iru knew Godrop when he was just a crap newbie, but those times have passed, and well, uh, Godrop just got carte blanche. Iru never harassed him, and this is why he lost. So we have the same build going for Godrop. We have the Bisu build, Zerg drone just spotting that. So I'm not sure what Iru is going to do with this. He's not going nine pool like the previous game, which is a good. Thing, I guess 300 minerals in the bank, so he's going 12 hatch. And yeah, again, I'm trying to. Oh, Kakaroo, look at there. Up oh, and he's gone. It just vanish. When I click Kakaroos, they vanish. No, not fun. I like them. Huh, oh well. Anyway, so we have. Oh, yes. We have not a 11 pool, we have a hatchery. I know Zerg build orders now because I've been playing Zerg. That's what I wanted to say before I. Oh, there's the Kakaroo again. Look at that. Ooh. Now it's going to vanish again, probably. You stay there, bastard. Anyway, what is what he going to do? He's going to go for a tree hatch. Bugger me. Because. Why? Well, children, it's because the Bisu build. And Protoss can do fuck all except build some cannons at the start of it. And that's, this gives Zerg the chance of building several hatcheries and then going so um, it's 12 hatch 13 hatch 11 pool yes 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 so we're gonna see some very heavy macro from Iru here um, I hope he doesn't go oh something was built and something was cancelled I don't know was it the cybernetic core Probably, because he forgot the cannon. He's going to place the cannon? No! He's going to place the Nexus! Why is he going to place the Nexus? Because! There's no pool yet! Okay, there's no need. He scouted it. Look, the bastard probes saw it. Okay. So there was no need to plant the cannon yet, so he can fast expand. They're all... It's very, uh, one, two, one, two. Yes, okay, everyone's responding to each other. Okay, actually is up. Creep colony being built, because of course there's the zealots. That is the first zealot and the spawning pool going to be done any second. Um, mm. Mm, I say. So, that colony, not going to be ready. This zealot going to be annoying. Probably not going to be able to kill anything. Uh, I hope. Going straight for the, um, uh, the thing here, the main base. Yes, that's it. Uh, Zergling's almost done. Is he going to? He's not going to. No. Oh. That was some bad run micro. What's he doing? He's just gonna go straight for his for his uh, natural. Yeah, that zealot's probably gonna kill off a zergling. One zergling, two zergling. Two zergling! Dead. Not really the best investment Ghost Rob's ever done. Anyway, uh, let's see. Still no cannon from Ghost Rob, though. Very weird. There we go. Cannon's up. Simulator's going down, so he's gonna go for some tech, I think. There we go, so I mean, just go up. He's already got the simulator. Zerglings chasing zealots, all very nice. Uh, 300 gas in the pool for Iru. Not done a lot with it yet. Um, as in, actually, he's done nothing with it. He's. Well, I don't know. 
Maybe speed has already been upgraded without me knowing. I don't think so. These don't look like very fast Zerglings to me. Uh, yeah, the cannon. Goodbye, Zerglings. Okay. There we go. Lair being upgraded. Probably something with the spawning pool. No upgrade. No. No. Nothing happening. Ah. Let's see. What kind of tech is he going? He's going to go for the Citadel Dune again, same as the first game. So no, harassment, right? Evolution Chamber going up. Um, idle drone. Why is it, Iru, that you always leave in the own idle? Is it some of your things that you do? No, okay. Extractor going up. Why build the second extractor? Iru, hello, wake up. Okay. I'm not gonna keep being nice to you just because you're like a very important figure in the SE2GG world, okay? If you build a second extractor when you've got 400 in the bank, okay, your lair is done now. I think you should put some more drones on the minerals. Spore colony. Don't worry, you're not gonna have that. That's the thing uh, when I'm playing Zerg as well. It's very hard to scout your opponent. So I suggest building a queen or two. Yes, and then you lose the game because you build queens. But still, you uh, you got the ability to scout. Uh, uh. So, ah, the Protoss Templar archives going up. A little bit of an attack here. It's going to do nothing. Going to run away. Scared zealots. So, oh, I missed something. That zealot was hardly that was six HP. Who ah. Uh, it probably didn't get killed by those thingies. Anyway, we have a lot of minerals going in the bank for Iru, but uh, where is the spire? Oh, there's the spire. I think he's already. What was he doing? What's he doing? He now speed's being upgraded. So, hmm. Odd. We've got 40 supply from Iru, and he's not really doing a lot with his gas. He's really, really building a lot of gas, huh? A lot of Zerglings as well. Carap is being upgraded. Always nice thing to have. Cannons being upgraded as well for the photon cannon because I think God really realized it. He didn't really see any hydras yet, so. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, that's a lot of Zerglings. They're not gonna do fuck all for this fortified Protoss base, but still. Nice pissing line of Zerglings. <sighs> so, Spire! Spire! Yeah, get it? Fire, spire, yeah. Funny, yeah? Spire's gonna be up in a minute. Don't know if there's gonna be enough larvae. We've got 1,200, 1,300 of each. 1,400 of each in the bank for Iru. So, let's see what's going on. There's a little bit of a speedling attack, but not going to be that successful. He's gonna retreat with those now. So they're just there to keep map control and keep Protoss from expanding 15 times. So finally, the Spire is done. We have 12... Well, yes, we have 9. 9! 9! Muters morphing. So, we're going to see a little bit of muter harassment, but I think it's rather late, to be honest. Because uh, there are already pff, photon cannons all over the place. Ah, but the main base... The main base is not protected by cannons. Indeed. So we have mutalisks. They're gonna crash themselves to death on this these cannons. And then probably oh there's an Archon. Hello, there's an Archon. Now the cannon's going down in the main base. A goat, however, has got a thousand in the bank as well, so these guys are just slacking off just to piss me off. Alright? Uh, this is why I am the only one who bothers with these games. Oh god, and there go the mutalisks and the cannons are too late! The cannons, I tell you, but there's an Archon. Will the Archon manage to save the hapless probies? I do not know. The probes are going down, but the Archon's there. But he's, he's trapped. Oh, look! I Templar! Storming! Star! Death! Oh, God! All of these mutalisks in a f flash! In a Protoss flash! It's Vanished. All of them. Gone. The Archon got five kills. The Templar got three kills. And the Cannon got a kill. They all killed everything. 
Ouch, Ferrairu. Seriously, it killed 